Hey guys, this is Tonner and today we're going to be talking about how to play Marvel Strike Force on your PC. Obviously, this is a game that is really good to kind of just have running in the background. If you're doing raids or anything like that, you can do stuff on your PC. So the best way to be able to do this is have an emulator that works well for it. And I've tried out a lot of emulators. I've tried out a lot of different ways to be able to play Strike Force on my PC. And the best one I've found so far has been Bluestack. So how do we go about this? All you need to do is go down into one of my videos, descriptions. You're going to have the links down there, and sometimes they're pinned down here. So make sure you check out the comments, and there's going to be a pin there. And just click on that, and it's going to bring you to the Bluestacks website. This is going to allow you to download the web the game, so that way you're able to get in straight into it, download Bluestacks, and be able to play. And here we go, we've already brought it up. So I've downloaded Bluestacks earlier on. And from there, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is go to the Play Store. Now, I've already logged in, but when you do first up, boot up the game, you will have to log in there, just so that way it's got all your data and everything like that, and bring up Marvel Strike Force here. And then, all you do is hit install, and boom, we're starting to bring into the game, just downloading it. Similar to if you had like an Android device or anything along those lines, you're able to just download the game, so that way you're able to play it at any time um, via your PC. Alrighty, and here's one I prepared earlier, bringing Marvel Strike Force into Bluestacks. Now, you might be asking yourself, Torna, why Bluestacks? Why Bluestacks over every other emulator out there? And that's because, honestly, I found Bluestacks, first of all, runs the smoothest. It just runs incredibly smooth. And if I'm having any issues, we've got this little button over here, the Trim Memory button, that I can click, and it's going to trim away any excess memory that the game is using, reducing the RAM usage that I am having there which just makes it a lot easier to make sure that I can run this, I can run another game at the same time and stuff. We've also got the multi-instance manager that we can bring up here, which is going to allow us to have basically multiple instances of blue stacks, which means that any time I want to be able to play blue, uh, like play Marvel Strike Force on one screen and then have another version of Marvel Strike Force open on like an alternate account or something like that, I'm able to do that pretty easily by just using this multi-instance uh, manager because all I need to do is hit start here and it's going to bring up a second window of exactly the same kind of thing. And it's really easy to be able to clone them and everything like that so that way you can have multiple instances of it uh, open up and um, it can play like Marvel Strike Force on one and uh, the alternate account of Marvel Strike Force on another one or another get different game that you want to be able to check out as well so that way you're able to just kind of keep them up going. You've also got the eco mode that you can activate as well. So that way the game's using less data, uh, less of your computer. So that way it's going to reduce the CPU usage. It's going to reduce the GPU usage, being able to allow it to just kind of run smoother in the background. And speaking of smoothness, I honestly, I every time I do a battle in this game, I find that it just runs incredibly smoothly on my um on my device here. So we'll go into a battle here and I'll be able to show you guys just how great it is. Now, if I do want as well, I'm able to use the controls here. So that way, instead of having to like move my mouse around and click the buttons and stuff, I can just use my keyboard here to be able to uh, bring them up. So you can see down here, like one, two, three, basic, special, ultimate. You've got like the auto button up here. So if I want to be able to just chuck it into three times, I can just click W three times there. Uh, and just make it really easy to be able to kind of target people and everything. So from here, we're just going to, I'll just go to show you guys just how smooth it is because boom, Loki's already gone there. Now I've got it running at 60 FPS and honestly, I can run this game while I'm like playing, uh, like playing World of Warcraft and stuff at the same time in the background. I can have it just running in the background so that way it's a bit easier to be able to kind of um, just not completely fry my computer, which is what I found with some other, uh, I found with some other um, emulators was that just kind of trying to run it while I'm running um, like any other game really it just ends up being such a painful experience because well 
it's not designed to be able to kind of run it pretty smoothly while this so far has been just incredible um uh, it's been incredible the fact that i can just run this while i'm running other things but honestly guys um i i do think that bluestacks is your best option if you are wanting to play the game via your pc even then like i find that i don't use my mobile device as much anymore because i'm just being able to run the game while i'm doing other stuff at the same time without having to like look down look up look down look up i've just got it on a secondary screen so that way it's easy to be able to just look directly over at it and be able to have it available at any time um but that's it for today guys uh check out the link down in the comments and in the description so that way you're able to get the game and everything um and that's it for today have a great day and goodbye